After taking a look at financial statements and Newton economics, we try to understand and evaluate the portfolio performance for the lending businesses we are analyzing. Simply put, a loan portfolio is a record of the loans that a lender is owed. And analyzing the portfolio helps us understand how the company's lending activity is faring. When analyzing a portfolio, we're typically asking ourselves the following questions. One, how has the portfolio grown over time? And two, how has the portfolio performed over time? And there are two ways of answering these questions. The first is on an aggregate basis, that is looking at the entire portfolio. And the second is on a cohort basis, that is analyzing the portfolio by grouping loans together based on when they were originated. Let's start with analyzing the portfolio on an aggregate basis. Like I mentioned, <clears throat> like I mentioned here, we're looking at the performance of the entire portfolio over time. To answer the question of portfolio growth, here we are looking to understand one, how the size of the outstanding portfolio has changed over time and two, how the number of loans outstanding have changed over time. And the best way to understand this is to get data from the company containing the outstanding loan portfolio size, as well as the number of loans outstanding over time. With this data, we typically create charts that look like this. From this, we can see how both the number of loans outstanding and the size of the outstanding loan portfolio have changed over time. We typically want to see both of these numbers growing as they indicate that the company itself is growing. That said, this is not a hard and fast requirement because sometimes there are good reasons for a shrinking portfolio. For example, during COVID-19, the portfolio for most consumer lenders shrank as they stopped making loans. Now to answer the question of portfolio performance over time, we're looking to understand one, how much the portfolio is making, and two, how the delinquency on the portfolio has evolved over time. From the first point, we're typically looking to understand the weighted average interest earned by the portfolio over time. And for the second point, we want to see how the portfolio at risk has fared over time. By this, I mean, how has the proportion of the portfolio that is at least 30, 60, 90, and 100 days overdue changed. Again, the best way to understand this is to rely on data from the company that shows the weighted average interest earned as well as the portfolio at risk numbers over time. With this data, we typically create charts like these. The first one being one showing the weighted average interest earned by the entire portfolio over time. And the second one being the portfolio at risk numbers for 30, 60, 90, and 100 days for the entire portfolio over time. From this, we can see, from these, we can see how the portfolio has performed. We typically compare these numbers to the company's unit economics to make sure that they are aligned and that the company is unit economic positive. We also look to make sure that the, that the performance is generally getting better over time. Next, let's talk about analyzing the portfolio on a cohort basis. Like I mentioned earlier, here we're analyzing the portfolio by grouping loans together based on when they were originated. To get a sense for portfolio growth here, we're looking to understand one, how the size of monthly originations has changed over time and two, how the number of monthly loans originated has changed as well. Again, we typically request this data from the company and create charts that look like this. From this, we can see how both the number of monthly originations and the size of the total monthly loans originated has changed over time. We typically want to see both of these numbers growing as they indicate that the company itself is growing. And lastly, to get a sense for the portfolio performance on a cohort basis, we want to understand how much the loans originated in specific months have earned, 
and how delinquencies for loans originated in specific months have changed over time. Here, we're looking at the weighted average interest earned, as well as the portfolio at risk numbers to understand this. We typically request this data from the company and create charts that look like these. The first being the monthly cohort portfolio at risk numbers, which show the portfolio at risk numbers for 30, 60, 90, and 100 days for loans based on the specific months that they are originated. And we're also looking for the monthly cohort weighted average interest earned, which lets us know how much <clears throat> loans originated in specific months have earned over time. We typically want to see both of these. We typically want to see both the interest earned and the portfolio at risk numbers improving over time, as they suggest that with new with each new origination, the company is both earning more money and is getting better at underwriting its its customers. Thank you.